today I have Elsa looking out a window and she looks like she is a sad Elsa today. I've also got my paper down because I only color on my paper and I've got my colored pencils because colored pencils are my favorite ones to color with. But you can color with whatever colors you want. It's all up to you. And today I think I'm going to start off with this color, which is cream colored for Elsa's hair because her hair is very blonde. So I need to color in her hair a very light color. I don't want to use white because I think white is too light of a color and that looks like a grandma's hair more than an Elsa's hair, I think. And I think this color is closer to what Elsa's hair looks like out of all the colors I have. But maybe you have a color that works even better. But for me, this is the closest one and I'm being very careful to stay inside my lines that way I don't have to color in her face or her ears or the wall with another color and have my cream color ruin it for me by accident because when we mix colors, we make new colors and it'll change the colors that we want to use into a color we did not expect using at all. And that's not what we want to do today. So I'm going to practice staying in my lines as much as I can. and just doing my best to make sure I get all the space, but this color is hard to see. Lighter colors tend to be just a little more tricky to see when you color them on paper. And that's why I need to use my normal pencil to write down my color. For one, cream color, see? R E A M cream and this one is our first color one color so far now I'm going to use this peach color to color in Elsa's face. See, first I had to choose what to color and I wasn't sure if I wanted to color in Elsa or if I want to color in the window or if I want to color in the wall behind her. So we have to choose what we're coloring and then pick our colors. Sometimes it's just a little tricky because we have to make a decision and it's not a decision that we are easily making. But we have to color the whole thing anyway. So let's just choose then, huh? And that is our one we'll use our pencil because this one's still hard to see. One peach color. P E 
A, C, H. Peach. Cream was our first color, and we used one cream color. So we have one cream color plus one peach color means that we need to count one number bigger than one. So that means we need to count to the next number. One, two. One plus one equals two. Because two is one number bigger than one. So peach is our second color. We use two colors now. Now I'm going to use this blue color to color in Elsa's eye, where her iris is. I'm also going to use this color to color in this part of the wall. Because I like this color, and I would use this color for my walls. I like it, so I'm going to use it for her wall and pretend that that's the color of the wall in the room she's in. They painted it this very pretty blue color. But if you want to color the walls in your pictures a different color, you can color them whatever color you want. That's the fun of coloring. You can use your imagination for your colors how you want, and everybody around you can use their colors to use their imagination however they want. And that includes when you're coloring the same pictures on different paper. So you have your own paper and I have my own paper, but it's the same picture. We can color them completely different colors. Or if you have a different picture than I do and you want to use different colors, you can do it that way too because it's just colors and imagination so let's just use our colors and practice staying in our lines and using our imagination to figure out how we want to use them all now we're all done with this blue color, but I'm going to use another blue color because I think on this part of Elsa's dress, it's going to be a light blue, like this one. I like to use this blue a lot too. This blue gets used for the sky for me in a lot of my pictures because this blue color reminds me of the sky. But I think it's the closest one I have for this part of Elsa's dress. So I'm going to use it there. just like this and then I think we'll make the rest of her dress a very dark blue and maybe since Elsa is a princess we could use a blue that's purple but only a little bit because purple was a color that they used 
for royal people. So kings and queens and princes and princesses, they all used to use the color purple to signify who they were as royalty. So maybe I'll use that shade of blue for the rest of her dress because that would make a lot of sense. But first, we're going to use the same light blue very gently on all these glass windows. Do you know what shape these windows are? There's a point at the bottom and it has one, two, three, four sides. And all four sides look like they're the same length. What shape does that? Has four sides the same length, but has the point on the bottom. Sometimes the four sides are not the same length. It's mostly just the fact that the point is on the bottom and it has four sides. It's a diamond shape. Do you have shapes like that for any of the windows in your house? When I was little, the windows on the door to our house had little diamonds on them. Just little ones though, not big ones like this. But now I'm done with these blue colors. We used one, two of them now. And we'll use this violet blue color for the rest of Elsa's dress. This color is a violet color, which means purple. But since it's violet blue, it means that it's a blue color in the purple that's very pronounced which means that it's just much more easy to see blue in this purple than it is normally to see. And the reason for that is because when they made this purple, they used more blue than the other color. What is the other color that they use when they make purple that they did not use much of when they made this one. Instead, they used lots of blue and just a little bit of the other color. Do you know what the other color is? It's red. Red is the color that you mix with blue to make purple. But if you add more blue than red, like they did in this one. It's a shade of blue still. So I'm going to write this down as one of our blue colors. One, two, three. We used three blue colors. Three, blue, B, L, U, E. Three blue colors. Peach was our second color. Two colors. Now we need to add in our three blue colors to find our new total number. So we can count three numbers bigger than two, or we can count two numbers bigger than three. 
I think we should do both just to make sure we do our counting right. So if we count it, one, two, three, four, five. Two plus three equals five when we counted three numbers bigger than two. We made sure we counted three by counting these three spots. One, two, three. When we count our two, we'll count these two spots. So now let's see if we count two numbers bigger than three, if we still get to five to make sure we did our counting right. One, two, three, four, five. We did get five again. And since we got the same one, we know we did our math right. Two plus three equals five. We even did three plus two equals five. And it was the same thing. And that's exactly how math should work. So blue is our fifth color. We've used five colors now today. And now I'm going to use my red color. I think we'll use this one today. And this is for Elsa's lips. Just like that. I'm also going to use it on the window frame right here like they colored the window frame red. Maybe they would not do this, but I'm going to use my imagination to say they did do it in my drawing, and this is how I'm gonna color it, is with this one being red. All the way around like this. Then we will skip this one and color this one red too. All the way down. There we go. And then I will make this red just on these edges, skipping that one like we did on the window. But this part down here, I'm going to say is more of that wall like above, so I should color it with the same one I did up there. And then I'm going to keep skipping and doing the next one red to make a pattern so it repeats. And that is all I'm going to do with my one red color. R E D. One red color. Blue was our fifth color. Five. Plus our one red color means we need to count one number bigger than five. One, two, three four, five, because I'm going to keep counting those three spots on our three to get to our five, six. Five plus one equals six, because six is one number bigger than five, which means that six is the next number when we do our counting. Silly me, 
I wrote a 5. But we fixed it and made it a 6 like it should be because 5 plus 1 equaled 6. Silly Pimmy was looking at this 5 and just wrote another one because he tricked himself. And now I'm just going to use brown for these parts. Because I enjoy wood colors and wood is brown. So I'm going to make these parts brown like all they did was use the wood for these parts and they decided not to paint them which is just fine sometimes you don't want to paint the wood because you think the wood is very pretty so you put something on the wood called finish and that protects the wood and keeps it from turning gray and rotting away. It also helps protect it from getting dirty and makes it easier to clean. And when you want to keep your wood looking like a wood color, you put finish on it to make sure that's what happens. But maybe this is just a red and brown curtain, red and brown. And they pull it across the windows to cut out all the light when they want to go to bed. But that one would be wood and this one would be wood. that'll be all for our one brown color B R O W N one brown color red was our sixth color six colors and now we add in one more color because we used one brown color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six plus one equals seven. Brown is our seventh color because seven was one number bigger than six. Now we just need to color in Elsa's eyeball, and that is white. And the part we colored blue is called the iris of her eye. What color is the iris of your eye? Mine is called hazel. Now we're all done with one W H I T E, one white color. Brown was our seventh color. Plus our one white color equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven plus one equals eight. Because when we count, eight is the number that comes after seven. And then we're all done and we used eight colors C O L 
O R S. Eight colors to color in our Elsa, who looks very sad staring out of her window with her brown and red curtains that she uses to close the window when she goes to bed. And now we're all done. I hope you had as much fun as I did today when we colored our picture from our Frozen 2 Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book. Today's picture was our sad Elsa looking out her window. And we used eight colors. I hope that you enjoyed that one as much as me. I also hope that you did your colors on paper where colors belong. Also, let's not forget to put away our colors now that we're done. So until next time that you get to come and color with Pimmy, bye-bye! Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe down below.